Hello, my wonderful Librans. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. Wow. As I split the deck, guys, we have privileged lady as well as unexpected income. A lot of success on the horizon for you guys. Okay. Whether you are a lady or a man here does not matter. I just feel like, you know, your career is looking very good. Maybe you're receiving some sort of unexpected recognition or, you know, your um, finances are, you know, picking up after maybe, um, you know, where you feel like if you have a business, maybe it plateaued or maybe you feel like your income was just kind of at a plateau here. But I see things picking up for you in terms of your, you know, finances. Let's see. Also recognition. That's what I'm getting here. Some of you may be in the public eye. Pathway. Okay, so a brand new direction here is what I see. A lot of, you know, transformation occurring in your love life with the uh, butterflies there. I feel like many of you are maybe at a crossroads and you're trying to, or, or maybe you are picking a pathway that feels very unfamiliar, but it's almost like a sense of like leaving your comfort zone. Maybe some of you recently went through a breakup with this person that you're inquiring about, or you're wanting some sort of change when it comes to your love life is what I see here. So even if it's not a brand new person, guys, it could be someone you have history with, but you're wanting like to turn over a new leaf, like you're very um, tired of a repetitive cycle. It's almost like doing something differently because you know that that's what's going to, um, you know, result in changes in your environment. Unexpected income wanted to come out for you guys again. So I do feel like, again, it's your, it's your finances that are looking very good. And bottom of the deck here, we have marriage. Okay, so someone could be courting you at this time. You know, they're wanting a higher level of commitment here. And un unexpected income, if it's not to do with finances, it could just be like um, something else that's an income for you, like someone reaching out to you, someone offering you something tangible, right? Where you're very fulfilled and happy. And then we have change. Yeah, exactly. This is what I was sensing. Many of you with the number nine, the person you're inquiring about here could be viewing you to be in a very independent energy. You know, someone who has a head on their shoulders, someone who is, you know, very focused on their career. Um, you know, it's like you're enjoying the fruits of your labor is essentially what I'm picking up on. And with change, it could be um, a card of travel also. Like someone could be traveling to, uh, you know, speak to you. Maybe they need to move closer to you if you guys are in like a long distance union here. And very specific, but some of you could be moving out of like your hometown or somewhere that you were born and you were there for years and you're like, you know what, I need some change. <laughs> you know, it's time for me to leave what I know and explore what I don't know. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, okay, we have the Knight of Swords followed by the Three of Cups. So wanting to communicate with you, this could even be someone who wants to take you out. Wow, guys. And then we have the Four of Wands. And we did see the Marriage card in the uh, Kipper deck. So it does talk about someone who is wanting some sort of commitment with you. Flip the deck. Three of Wands. This could be another card about travel or like some sort of distance. So if it's not physical distance, Libra, it could just be emotional distance between the both of you right now. This person is waiting, you know, they're waiting on some sort of, um, you know, response or, or I see someone who's going to like text you and then like put away their phone and just like wait on your response. Like someone is waiting for some sort of response or hint or, 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 you know, mainly I'm getting response here with that three of wands, like someone reaching out to you and just being like very anxious about how you will reply. Because the Knight of Swords talks about communication. Could even be unexpected communication, right? So hand in hand with the unexpected income card there. Something happening and, you know, you did not expect it to occur. Knight of Cups. This person wants to express their emotions to you is what I see, Libra. And um, for many of you, you will not expect this from this person. It's almost like you know, maybe you're just at work or maybe you're just at home hanging out and then you randomly get a text message or this person randomly starts to, you know, you receive a phone call from them, right? I just see that this person wants to express their emotions to you. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, justice. Wow, that's your energy. So this could be someone who's trying to restore some sort of balance in this connection. Maybe they feel like there's a lack of inconsistency here or things are not where they want them to be because essentially this person's thinking about like a family dynamic with you with the four of wands and marriage card and they're very worried about this nine of swords 
you know, they could be losing sleep, they could just be, you know, thinking about the situation a lot and thinking about, um, you know, what to say, what to do, but there is a lot of worry. I feel like that's the blockage here. Just someone who's up in their mind, constantly thinking about every, um, you know, every possible outcome or every possible response. This is someone who thinks about you a lot at night specifically. I am getting that. Six of Pentacles. They want to give to this connection. It's someone who's in a very generous energy. What's interesting to me is the Six of Pentacles is clarifying the change card. So maybe this is the change that they're making. In the past, they may have felt that they've, you know, um, breadcrumbed you or they, they, you know, they were not giving to the situation as much as they were receiving from it. It's someone who's trying to prove their emotions to you and how they feel about you. Um, they're up in their head, but essentially what they're up in their head about is giving to this connection, right? Um, putting, uh, put, essentially coming forward as a very action-oriented person, okay? Some of you in the past feel like this person, you know, they just were not prioritizing this connection because the six of pentacles could either be, could sometimes be like over giving or giving to more than one situation. So if it wasn't another person, again, you know, we do see cards of travel. So it could have been someone who was more focused on their career or you kind of just felt that they were neglecting this relationship. Six of Swords. They just want peace between the both of you. The Six of Swords is, you know, a card of peace, moving to calmer waters. Okay, let's leave the past behind us or let's just leave behind the mishaps, right? Or what occurred between the both of us that we weren't fond of so we can be at peace, so we can come together. This person with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords, what they're moving closer to is, yes, expressing their emotions, but also being at a space where both of you understand each other and you guys are, you know, in union and just, you know, at a space of, Closing that distance, closing that emotional gap between the both of you. You know, this person feels the distance. So even if it's not physical, guys, you know, maybe you don't respond to this person the same way that you used to. Maybe you guys don't, you know, speak to each other as, as consistently as you used to. But there is an emotional gap here that your person wants to close. And as far as the Six of Swords goes, they want the outcome to be just peace between the both of you. Right? So let's see. Six of Swords. Page of Cups. Yeah. Offering you something brand new here, learning about, you know, how you feel, learning, learning your love language. And the Page of Cups, you know, they're taking baby steps here. You know, the end goal, we did see the Four of Wands, we, we did see the marriage card. It is someone who wants to be in a commitment with you, but they're taking baby steps in terms of like trying to learn you, trying to test the waters, um, you know, not wanting to come off too strong here. And the pages in the deck could also be messengers, so... Very interesting. So seven of pentacles. So what they want to or what they want to communicate to you with that seven of pentacles is what they have learned thus far. The seven of pentacles could also be someone who is wanting to prove something to you, right? They are wanting to invest in the situation because now they see what did not work and they're willing to put for, forward, um, you know, the effort in order to build on more of a stable foundation. So this person is in an energy of wanting to prove things to you, A, Libra, and B, they want to also let you know what they have learned, what they have learned um, in terms of like, they have been analyzing the situation. They have been analyzing you and your behavior and their behavior. And, you know, um, so Six of Swords, yeah, the star. They don't want to view you as a missed opportunity. This could be an Aquarius, but I just feel like this person feels you're very rare, like you're one of a kind, and they have to prove this to you. The star, you know, it's an energy of like when you meet someone and you're like, wow, where have you been all my life? You know, like I, I don't feel like I can find another you. And so because your person feels this way about you, they want to mend things. They want to restore balance here. They want to bring peace to the situation. If there were any mishaps in the past, they're trying to make peace with that in their mind. Like if there's any sense of in inner conflict. And the reason why I say that is because the next card is the Nine of Swords. And that can just talk about inner conflict. The, like the things that you tell yourself um, when you're alone. The things that you think about in your mind. But they may not be true. They may just be things that you're telling yourself because you're in more of like a pessimistic mentality. So I do see, see your person trying to overcome some sort of inner conflict here. Okay. Um, Nine of Swords. They have a lot of love for you and they find you to be very beautiful, very different, very unique, right? 
because the star it's like star qualities like there's only one of you but you guys may have very like distinctive features right like maybe you have colored eyes or you the way you do your hair or just like your facial um structure like you know there's a lot of physical attraction here but it's also like very um like there's something very unique about your beauty is the best way for me to explain it king of pentacles yeah they want to offer you something stable this is what they're up in their head about right the king of pentacles is essentially an energy of you know they're very predictable they're practical they're here and they're here to stay so this is what this person wants to show up as someone who's like okay i can offer you stability you don't have to question you know um my loyalty you don't have to question what i'm doing you don't have to question how i'm feeling for you and this is someone who may not be the best when it comes to the emotional department like in terms of like expressing their emotions but that's because their love language is usually acts of service like they will do things for you like excuse me it could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn but they will like bring you lunch or they will you know um you know if, if, if you're having a busy week they'll ask you what they can do to make your make your uh week a bit easier you know this is someone where their love language is definitely acts of service right so it's not someone who just tells you how they feel which they are going to tell you with that knight of cups and page of cups but it's someone who's more like okay i'm going to show you like i'm going to you know what can i do for you libra <laughs> you know like what like can i get you something today what can i do today to make your day easier okay you know you're, you're finished work at six can i come pick you up you know that sort of thing Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. So again, why they could be up in their head also is because as much as they want to do these things for you with the Seven of Wands and Five of Swords, it lets me know that there is this defensive or on the fence energy after a conflict. Five of Swords could be, you know, a harsh exchange of words, could be a misunderstanding. Maybe this person feels like something that they said you perceived it in the wrong manner or vice versa, right? So I just feel like this person is trying to overcome conflict here because the Six of Swords, right, which we see here, it comes after the Five of Swords. So, okay, the Five of Swords, it has happened. There is a conflict. Now, how do we overcome it? How do we make peace with the situation? The Empress. Wow, guys, Star and the Empress. Like, you are so beautiful in this person's eyes. Um, Libra and like with the Empress of course it could be another Libra that you're involved with or a Taurus but I feel like you know yes there there may have been a conflict there may have been an, a misunderstanding and, and maybe there was even anger here with the five of swords in terms of like a harsh exchange of words but behind that anger what does that boil down to sorrow they don't want to lose you they want to be with you the star the Empress you know um just wanting to work on things they've realized like this is someone who has went through the stage of being aggravated about a situation and now they're at the point of like understanding why things happened the way that they did with the seven of pentacles and that's what they want to communicate to you this person has a lot of love for you it doesn't matter if you guys had an argument it doesn't matter if you guys had a misunderstanding they still love you the same if anything they love you more you know what i mean like the star empress that's like a opportunity that they do not want to miss they feel like they would just never meet anyone like you again and they also feel that they're constantly reminded of you no one really like no one can take your spot right like the empress is like the queen of all queens right so even even my kings right guys whether you're a king or a queen it's just you are one of a kind and the star is like i said an energy of having star-like qualities right very unique qualities the way that you understand this person, the way that you treat them, the way that they feel around you, the way that you express your emotions to them. These are all things that they love very much and they adore you. So as much as we see that seven of wands, five of swords, this can also be letting me know that because it was clarified by the empress, which is your energy, that they feel like you're, they know that, okay, when I, when I talk to Libra or if I'm talking to Libra, if they're talking to you right now, they can sense that you're still a bit guarded because of what was said in the past, but they're willing to move forward. They're willing to work on that. Um, Six of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. They want to offer you their cup of love here, guys. Like, this is someone who's like, okay, I know what I want. I know what I want from this situation, and I want to offer this to Libra. Yeah, they're tired of feeling very left out in the cold, or they're very tired of not expressing their emotions to you. So even if it's that you guys are not in separation and you're communicating, this person feels like th there's not enough consistency, or they know that, you know, with the seven of wands, you're communicating to them, but there are certain things that you're holding back. Like they know that you're not fully trusting of them, or you're not really opening your heart up to them, or like, it could even be very small details as well. Like maybe you don't call them the sweet names anymore. And they're like, no, like I want to go 
back to how me and Libra used to be or like I want to you know be in a higher level of commitment with Libra like I don't want any sense of blockage I don't want any sense of you know holding back here um, especially with that five of pentacles they miss you you know they miss how things used to be here yeah nine of wands like this person feels like you're wounded you know they feel like they've caused a lot of hurt here but Again, the Nine of Wands is an energy of the wounded warrior. So, you know, this person is hoping that you will give them one more chance or they're hoping that when they speak to you, you can um, try your best to be open and understand them. Because this is also someone who feels like they've been thinking about this situation for a long time and it's been affecting them on a mental level. So now that they want to do something about it, I think that it would really crush this person if you were to turn them down is what I see in the cards. Yeah, Five of Wands. Maybe some of you are going through some sort of inner conflict here. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So either way, they're going to offer you something new here. This is a brand new uh, beginning. And what's interesting is the Ace of Coins kind of looks like the unexpected income card. So I wonder if the unexpected income for you, you know, maybe for some of you it is finances, but for others of you, it could just be this person trying to, you know, um, reconcile or, you know, get something off the ground here. Because with the Five of Wands, they may feel like there's so much going on around them. The Five of Wands could talk about external influences. It could also talk about learning to do something or learning a new way to approach something, like a brand new approach, right? Because in original tarot, they are fighting with sticks, not swords. So that's symbolic for learning something. They are, they're in the beginning stages of adapting, right? So um, your person could be learning how to express, learning how to be comfortable with their emotions, learning how to show up as a stable individual here. Okay. So my beautiful Librans, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.